flood victims in the Mid Valley are finally starting to see some relief from FEMA, but one family says the amount of assistance they received is just not enough. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz is live in Westlico with what you can do if you find yourself in a similar situation. Annalise. Tiffany and Eddie, people are still coming to this disaster recovery center in Westlaco looking for assistance every day. Now, some people have already received that assistance, and if you disagree with FEMA's decision, you can come back and appeal. That's exactly what one Westlaco family is doing. I was four feet of water. Little by little, progress is being made in the Vela family's home, but there's still a long way to go. Uh, we're still struggling uh, buying merchandise uh, material for the building of our home. Two weeks ago, Vela told CBS 4 News he didn't know how much money FEMA could contribute. He since learned it won't be enough. When they see a home like this, uh, they think we could afford everything. Uh, unfortunately, we can't. It is possible to appeal if you don't agree with FEMA's decision. The organization recommends going to the Disaster Recovery Center where you can talk to a caseworker face to face. It also suggests bringing along receipts of repairs you've made since the damage. An estimate from two different contractors can also work to your advantage. Vela worries that the appeal process could be lengthy, extending the amount of time he and his family will be displaced. What is your best estimate of when you'll be back in? Three years from now. Meanwhile, other Mid-Valley flood victims are still in the beginning phases of applying for assistance. Todos mis vecinos les pasó lo mismo que a mí. Y espero que FEMA nos ayude a, a todos los personas que, te, que tuvimos que pasar por esto. She's keeping her head high, and so is Vela. There's always a will and a way to take care of problems like this. Now, this recovery center and the others in the valley in Brownsville and Willacy County will be closed for the holiday starting tomorrow through Sunday, December 27th. However, the phone lines will still be up and running during Christmas time. The number is right there at the bottom of your screen. I'm live in Westlaco, Annalise Ortiz, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com.